Welcome to Pathology Riddles. Today is a continuation of the previous video that is the important topics in pathology. In the previous video we have discussed up to the immunity and the genetics chapter. Today we will be talking about important topics in neoplasia, important topics in infectious disease chapter, important topics in environmental diseases and finally diseases of childhood and infancy. So in neoplasia, neoplasia is supposed to be one of the very important chapters because most of the cases that we presently see are neoplasia, malignant cases, benign cases. So you need to know this chapter very thoroughly. So coming to important questions, I will talk about the major questions that is the differences between benign and malignant tumors. You need to know at least 10 differences. Then define neoplasia. You also need to know about chemical carcinogenesis and microbial carcinogenesis. You need to know about oncogenic viruses, which are the viruses which are causing these tumors. You also need to know about metastasis, what is metastasis and what are the mechanisms or the steps of metastasis. One more important question is tumor markers and paraneoplastic syndromes. So these are the brief questions of uh, neoplasia. But neoplasia is a huge chapter so any three markers, two markers may come out of neoplasia. For example, dysplasia as a two marker or three marker may be asked in your exams. So they can find one, one small, small. There are uh, multiple short answer questions in neoplasia. So if you read that chapter once, I think you will have some idea of how to answer. So the beginning first five pages have got a lot of these terms like choristoma. I think you need to go through it so that you get an idea of all these small small terminologies and what they mean. When they are asked for two marks you should not lose them. So that's about neoplasia then we go to infectious diseases. Now since microbiology is one of the major subjects in second year we won't be asking too much about infectious disease. But what is most common in India you are supposed to know like tuberculosis, malaria, because they have a pathologic aspect to it and you need to know about it, cysticercosis. These are some of the things that we usually get in uh, gross and microscopy. So you need to know more about this in, from the pathological aspect of you. Then we go to environmental diseases. Under environmental diseases, two of the most prevalent things right now are smoking related diseases and obesity. So these are the things which can be most commonly asked. So finally we go to the last chapter that is childhood related diseases. Under these four topics are most important. One is hydrops fetalis, second one is cystic fibrosis, third is neuroblastoma and the last one is Wimps tumor. So that completes general pathology. In the next video I will be talking about systemic pathology, what are the important topics. So there is a disclaimer, these are the important topics, that doesn't mean that questions can't come from elsewhere, 80% will come from here but 20% will separate the ones who have really studied from the ones who have just gone through questions. So I request you to at least read the whole textbook once in second year so that it becomes easier for you to answer your entrance exams and later go through the question bank and answer the questions. So that's all for today. This is Dr. Susan signing out until we meet in the next video.